Hey crafty people, welcome back to my channel. And in case you're new here, I'm Sarah, also known as Craft Nerd, cause I'm a nerd who loves to craft. I do paper crafting, card making, junk journaling, and mixed media art. Let's get crafting. Welcome back for another Mass Make Monday. I've got our timer started, so let's go ahead and start that for 45 minutes. And you'll see I've got a bunch of book page on my desk. So today we are going to make some pockets using book page. Um, and as you can see, variety of different sizes. It does not matter um, what size you use. Uh, so whatever book page you have. And if you don't have book page but have digitals, you can do that with them as well. But with how we're folding it and what we're going to be doing, you're probably going to want it to be double-sided, whatever paper you use. And... This was, um, I got this idea from Pam at the Paper Outpost. So we're just gonna go ahead and I'll show you the basics on the first one. Um, it's pretty much, we fold it up in half, fold over, and depending on if you are concerned about the pages being right side up, will determine which way you fold. So I'm gonna fold this this way and I think I may grab some scissors to trim off and of course I just started recording and a dog now wants in um this may not have been the best book page to grab because it's um cracking a little along here but we could always put some washi there to address that so I'm gonna pause this and let a dog in and we're gonna start back up and I'm just gonna trim the rough edge off over here with some scissors And then what you do is you decide, there, there are a variety of variations you can do for this. So I'm gonna fold the first page down a little bit. Then the next one can get folded down as well. And I'm just gonna fold it about to there. And so now we've got, let me, a little scrap piece of paper one pocket two pockets we can also fold this one down and we can go either way either forward or back whichever way you prefer to fold it and now we've got one two three pockets and if you attach it um, however you want to glue it if you glue it uh, I can talk really I can um so you can glue it to create a fourth pocket back there also if you just glue along here you can have a tuck spot up under there um so I'm gonna do all of the folding first and then we'll go back and glue so this is just a little itty bitty pocket so again it depends on the size of the book page you use um as to how big of a pocket you're gonna end up making, which is why I grabbed a variety of different book pages. And some of them did not come apart from each other all that cleanly, so I will just trim this up. So that's option one, which creates all the pockets. You can also do option two and create fewer pockets. For this one, we're just gonna fold that corner down and then fold this one back like so. And if we stop there, we can just glue this all together and we'll have one, two pockets. So again, it's up to you how many folds and how many pockets you wanna make. Um, So today is um, the Monday after Puppy Bowl Sunday. I know for uh, most of the United States it was Super Bowl Sunday, but I think I've mentioned this in another video recently. I am not a football fan or watcher, so I watch the Puppy Bowl on Animal Planet. And if you are not familiar with Puppy Bowl, they basically have a They've created a, a football field. Um, they put a bunch of puppies in it <laughs> and uh, a bunch of toys. 
and then you just have puppy cuteness um and this was actually puppy bowl 20 so this is the 20th year they've done a puppy bowl and the the way it works currently like they had a little pre um puppy bowl show where they were talking like going over the last 20 years because when it first started they kind of just put a bunch of puppies on um together on what looked like a football field and just let them play around and be cute um and then subsequently they have actually divided the puppies up into teams so you have team fluff and team rough and they each wear uh color coded bandanas for their team the and they keep score uh this year team rough won and what they do is or the way the way the puppies score are is if a dog carries a toy into the end zone that is a touchdown for seven points if however they knock a toy over the line into the end zone that is a field goal so It is quite hilarious to watch a bunch of puppies running around. Um, and they have a kitty halftime show where they have cute kittens playing around on the field with music going. Um, so you've got that as well. Um, and, and there's a ref. So, you know, there are, are penalties sometimes called on... Uh, the play uh one of the penalties is for you know uh there's a water bowl on the field so if a puppy decides to just like hang out in the water bowl that will earn them a penalty um so yeah it is uh ridiculously cute and adorable um and i watch pretty much every year and i root for whichever team has a beagle on it because i'm a beagle mom and all of the puppies that participate in Puppy Bowl come from shelters across the United States. And I don't know that they had any this year, but I think last year they had um, some from uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, and, and so most of the ones that I think are playing in Puppy Bowl already have been adopted and are going after the show off to their forever homes. But they do have, um, they did do some profiles of puppies available for adoption. Um, and it's just so much ridiculous cuteness. Um, so that is what I watched yesterday in lieu of watching the Super Bowl. Now, it's not on at the same time as the Super Bowl. It's on earlier in the day. But that that's my version of the Super Bowl. <laughs> that's what I watch. Oh, and I've got a dog barking outside that I may have to go deal with. And of course, as soon as one starts barking, the other one's like, oh, I'm inside. I should go out and bark with him, which you may be able to hear right now. So I may in a second here have to, hey, knock that off. Um, go deal with doggies. <clears throat> outside barker has stopped the inside one is still whining because he wants to go join the outside barker because you know that's what they do oh another thing you can do with these is instead of and i'll show you on this one you can fold this corner down and this corner in like so and then on this side do the same thing and have this be a pocket that wraps around the page so if you've got a page in your journal you can attach it like this and have a pocket here, a pocket here, and a tuck spot up here if you want to do an up tucked spot. So that is another option. So 
So yeah, I, I enjoyed watching the Puppy Bowl and one of the sponsors is Subaru. So usually during Puppy Bowl, I end up seeing a new one of the Subaru dog commercials, which I, I, I have to say has got to be one of the best um, advertising um, campaign. I was trying to think of what the word is um, that I have ever seen. It, it makes me want a Subaru. Because, <laughs> um, oh, the, 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 the family of golden retrievers is just so adorable. And so I don't know if you've seen this one before or not, but it's mom, dad, and the puppy are driving in the car. And they've got a you know, kitty CD going or streaming or whatever. And it gets to the end of the song and the, you could tell the parents are not uh, loving the music and it stops and they don't start it up again. And then the puppy in the back starts crying. And so the mom puts her paw on the um, screen to start the thing up again. And the whole point of the ad is to point out their extra large screens inside the car. As always, I enjoy those Subaru commercials because I, I am a bit of a dog lover. I'm going to do one more and then go deal with a dog because, yeah, he's, he's not too happy right now. He, he regrets his decision to have come to come inside because I let both of them out and a couple minutes later one wanted in and now he's regretting that decision because you know a door is something a dog is always on the wrong side of so let me pause and go deal with the dog and we'll start back up again I hope they are not going to start barking because that's going to be very annoying. Um, so yeah, I went to go let the one dog out and the other one was just standing there waiting for him at the door. Like, come on, brother, let's go out and play. So... Did, did you watch either the Puppy Bowl or the Super Bowl yesterday? Um, like I said, did not watch the Super Bowl. The only reason I know that the Kansas City Chiefs won is because I was listening to NPR this morning and they mentioned it. So... <clears throat> I was thinking about it and I don't know that I have ever watched a Super Bowl. Like, I don't think I have ever watched the Super Bowl. Um, so that should give you a good indicator of uh, how not sports oriented I am. All right, I'm gonna do a few more and then maybe we'll get to decorating. I really like these pockets because they add a little bit of interest. They're quick and easy to make. And so, yeah, this weekend I was thinking I was going to get a lot more um, filmed and recorded than I did for my channel um, because I am still recovering from the flu. So, yeah, I did some recording on Saturday and started doing some recording on Sunday and then just decided I was tired. And so I relaxed on the couch, um, caught up on watching Chicago Fire, um, which I had several recorded on my DVR. And then watch Puppy Bowl. 
and that and I did go to the grocery store I was a good girl and did go out and go to the grocery store so I got that accomplished so I actually have food in my house which is always a good thing I may need to go check on a dog because I can't see my one dog who likes to escape out of the yard anywhere in the yard right now and that makes me nervous. Um, granted I can't see the entire yard. Oh wait, wait, I spotted him. We're okay. I don't have to get up and check on him. <laughs> I can see a good chunk of my yard from my craft desk. Just, um, my craft room is the back room on my house that looks out onto my yard and it was, I think, like a, I think it was a screen and porch that the previous owner enclosed and made part of the house. So it's um, got seven windows in the room. So like the one wall, which is to this side of me, is pretty much all windows and the door leading out to the screen and porch. And then the wall over there has got two more windows on it. So it gives me a pretty good view of most of my backyard, which is good because then I can monitor whether or not my dog's getting into trouble. All right, I think we will do this one more. And maybe then do some decorating and if we get them all decorated well and we also have to do the gluing um, and if we get everybody decorated then we can fold some more Ooh, that was not very straight let's see how it looks once I fold it these aside. I'm going to pull out my glue. And I am using art glitter glue. You can use whatever your preferred glue is. And so on the front piece, I'm just going to run a bead of glue along here. So that we can have a tuck up here. I am gonna open it up and the rest of my folds, I'm gonna glue all the way down because you don't want things catching on your fold over when you put stuff in and out of the pocket. I feel like I should trim this little bit off just to make it a little neater and less likely to cause problems with stuff going in and out of the pockets. Unfolding all the way just to make it a little easier for gluing purposes. And now we are going to glue down the sides here just to close these off and then across the bottom on this one so this one is there's gonna be some you know
twisting and turning to get the glue in the right spot. So, glue there. And my new silicone mat should be arriving <clears throat> later on tonight. I ended up ordering one from Amazon because I, the one I had was from uh, scrapbook.com and I really liked it. And it's the perfect size for the space I have for a mat on my desk. Um, but it's an unusual size. It was 15 and a half inches by 19 and a half inches. Um, and so all the other mats I was looking at were either bigger than that, which wouldn't fit um, because I've got uh, I had picked it up for when I was working in an office and it's a monitor stand that I now use to store various supplies and it's sitting right over here. So I only have about 16 inches on my desk until you hit that. So I couldn't really go over um, inch wise and I feel like I need to go check on a dog. So we are gonna pause and I'm gonna do that. We are gonna pause. Okay, I'm back. He was laying quietly in the yard, just enjoying being outside. Um, yeah, he's he's escaped way too many times. I tend to be a little paranoid about him out in the yard being quiet. Alright. While we've got this open, I'm just gonna go ahead and run the glue down here. And it it's definitely warmed up here in Florida We in the 80s, and so my glue is kind of oozy. So, yeah, I went on the scrapbook.com website because I was thinking of ordering basically another one of their silicone mats. Um, and it was out of stock. I was so bummed. <laughs> And everything else was either too big or was going to be too small and not cover enough of the space. So I was like, eh. I did, however, pick up the Tim Holtz media mat that goes, I think he, got, I think he came out last year. And it's got the little like triangle corners to hold the mat flat. So I did pick that up because I want to give that a try and see how I like it. But it's smaller than the full space. So I was like, mm, I don't know how that's going to work. So I picked it up because I want to give it a try. And I figured I could always use it. Like every once in a while, I will be doing crafty stuff while sitting on my couch on a TV tray. And so I figured I could always use it on the TV tray if I don't use it on my desk, but I might use it on my desk for doing mixed media stuff. And we're gonna glue along here. So I am very much looking forward to my new mat arriving um, so that I don't have to worry about messing up my desk. Not that it's in the greatest shape anyway, but you know, it would be nice Let's grab everybody over and we're just going to be gluing. So when, when scrapbook.com did not have what I wanted, I figured, let me check and see if Amazon's got mats. So I ordered a silicone mat from Amazon. And so it should arrive sometime today. And oddly enough, the one that I went with, because it was the right size and fairly inexpensive, um, didn't come in white, came in a bunch of grays, um, like dark gray, light gray. And for some reason, the light gray was like twice the price of the dark gray. I'm like, I don't, that does not, I don't understand that. Um, but it did come in a beige, so I went with that because... I want something a little, I, I liked having my silicone mat be white because then I can see the colors nice and easy when I smooshed ink on it. So I uh, went with the beige. I think they also had like a, a blue that I considered, but that one was also like twice the price. I'm like, 
not going to spend double in order to get one that's like a turquoisey blue. Like, just not going to happen. So, let's put a little glue here. So that is the mat update on my mat, <laughs> which I'm sure you're, you were very concerned and um, wanting to know what the status of my craft mat was. And for those of you who may have not seen the video where I explained what happened, um, I was doing some mm, gel plating on my mat, which apparently, just so you know, silicone mats do not like gel plates. Um, because I had put down the gel plate on my silicone mat directly and it bubbled up in the center in this weird way that is not flattening out. And I did a little research online and apparently that's what happens when you put a gel plate directly on a silicone mat and it may or may not eventually flatten back out, but right now it's not usable because it's got this weird warpy bubble smack dab in the center of it, of course. So I realized I needed to get a new mat and that I shall never again put my gel plate directly on a silicone mat. I actually picked up um, a couple of acrylic cutting boards from Amazon that I'm gonna give a try for putting my gel plate on. Yeah, and, and the reason why I didn't know this tip or was able to convey it in my very first gel printing um, video is because that time I left it on the plastic, like when you get a gel plate, it's sandwiched between two pieces of like plastic. So I left it on the plastic when I was playing with it and so as a result, I did not have the same issue because it was not directly touching my silicone mat. So yeah, live and learn. I was, I was not very happy when I discovered the weird bubbling. I was like, what on earth is going on here? So if you, if you take up gel plate it, gel printing and you have a silicone mat, just be aware that they don't like each other. Um, and I'm just gonna glue that down too while I'm here and I should have glued on this side and not that side because Hey, be quiet. I, think I may need to bring dogs in because they are barking like loonies. And we are getting close to the 15 minute mark. So I may need to stop and decorate. And you know what, as I'm doing this, I realized I should have inked my edges before I started doing all the gluing. Um, so yeah, I, I, there, there's a trick for dealing with um, inking edges. Um, when you have already glued them and realized too late that you meant to ink your edges. So I will show you that here in a second. And I may take, um, I may stop with the gluing and not glue everybody together in order to decorate at least one or two on camera. And I may be stopping here to deal with dogs again. This is definitely uh, a very interrupted video for Mass Make Monday. And this is the one we did so that it could go fold over a page instead of just being attached to a page. I think that's all glued. All right, let me do some decorating and show you how to ink if you forgot to ink ahead of time and don't want ink everywhere. All right, 
So I'm gonna grab just a scrap piece of paper. And tuck it into my pocket. And let's see, let's do some Victorian velvet. So this one will be for our, the, um, sewing journal I'm working on since it, the Victorian velvet just goes with the colors of the kits that I have picked up for that. Um, so very nicely, so. And then for this one, so you just tuck in a um, piece of paper and it will cover up the spots you don't wanna get inked. Now I'm not gonna do too much in the way of decorating on these pockets because we're gonna be filling up the pockets. And boy, all right, I'm going to pause again and go get a dog. All right, we're starting back up. Okay, so as I was saying, because you know we're gonna be tucking stuff under, I don't want to get too much do too much decorating on here. Um, <laughs> I want one of those. And of course it's not about. Let me go grab scissors. Okay, so I've got my Fiskar Postal scissors, and I'm just gonna cut this out, and both of these are by My Porch Prints. Ink the edges. Oh, that did not get cut out very straight. So let's straighten that up a little bit. Put that there, and I want something going across there. And as always, I'm gonna grab just some uh, antique linen and make that less white. Ink some edges. That, that. And that up there. I think I like that. All right, so we've got that one done. Let's grab this guy. We're gonna see how well it inks up since <clears throat> it's a glossier um, cardstock. And I am gonna grab some tea dye. 
because that's what I got handy. And ink my edges. Oh, it's inking pretty good. Oh, got to stick my little piece of paper in. Although it's definitely inking darker because I've got darker ink on this dauber. Um, which I'm not mad at. I actually think works pretty good here. Punky with. So let's find something. dog I think I might want a little too big let's do the train on there I think it'll just fit um, and I think we're probably gonna go with some kind of label across the bottom there it's are too big I feel like I want something behind the train as well. And of course, I managed to move the thing I have my labels on. Hold on one sec. Um, and this printable is uh, Fabi Art Studio. As always, I will leave uh, links down below. All right, let's get moving. All right, let's see. I think we're gonna grab. That label for there. And that's uh, Love Junk Journals. And nope, that's not working. what I'm gonna do is just cut that off yes and that's my porch prints although maybe mostly I just want something to go behind so that these little bits here stand out more I'm actually going to go with that, and that's a Love Junk Journal. And again, antique linen to knock back the white. I 
and I think some of the ground's gonna end up getting cut off once I glue it on because it's gonna stick out the side. Edges. If I hurry up, we might be able to get a B1 done too. that in place like so and then put some glue under on this side and then add our train on top and fingers crossed I've got everything positioned correctly Well, we might be able to get a B1 done if I don't futz around too much. Okay, there we go. Let's ink these edges. bit off. All right, so we got that one done. And we've got about three minutes, so we might be able to knock out a B themed one. Do this guy. Let's see if I've got, let's grab some mustard seed. Ink our edges. I mean, hopefully I'm on camera. <laughs> I realized I was getting a little low on the desk, which tends to be off camera. out here. And that's uh, my porch prints. I want something over here going this way. Also my porch prints and I feel like it needs one more like little element over here That works. We're gonna go with that. All right, I think we're, we're gonna be just a little over. Mostly I'm doing this not because it's showing up all that well. Oh. 
All right, we are out of time, um, but it's covering up the white from when I cut it out. So let's just glue this stuff down. And then let's take a look at what we've got accomplished today. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six folded, but not glued yet. So I will do that off camera. We've got one, two, three folded, but not decorated, but glued. And then one, two, three, glued and fully decorated so that they are done. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please do all the things that lets YouTube know you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment down below. Thanks for joining me and happy crafting.